Hey, today I'm going to be showing you how to selectively uh, sharpen and or HDR an image to create a more extreme image without the usual noise and dark shadows. And uh, We're going to be using three layers. One is the original image, one is the HDR image, and one is a blurred version of the HDR image to get the highlights and shadows on the skin. Okay, this time we're gonna take a regular image. This is the, like, this would be the base image of an HDR at the proper exposure. This, <laughs> this, the one that makes her look like she has dirty skin, is the HDR version. So three shots for that. What we're gonna do first is put a layer mask on there. Make it black. First thing you do is just start painting. There's a couple areas that I want to bring out here. Um, basically what I'm doing is avoiding the nastiness of the HDR on the skin. And also, since I, I didn't really care for what it did to the, the out of focus background, I'm not going to put it on there either. But I'm going to start with her, start with the hair. And you can get instant gratification from this because you see it as you're painting and you can always undo it or stop if you don't like it. You just paint it in. I'm going to do the trees, obviously. I'm going to do the trees, her clothing her hair, the hockey stick. And her eyes and probably her lips as long as they don't get too light by the HDR look. And you can already see it taking shape in a natural, more natural way. But we're going to take it a step further after, after this is done. I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to use a lower, just a lower opacity of the brush. And I'm going to do it again. There, that's not so bad. Okay. Take this background, make a copy of the original background, hide it. Okay, pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. And here's the before and after that. Not too extreme, just a lot of detail. And you can see the folds in the clothes. So, uh, that's uh, a little darker spots here and there where it brings out the, all the flaws in the clothing. Um, that's a good thing for the patch tool to, to patch that out. Then uh, you're going to make a copy of this HDR layer. Just, uh, and go ahead and select the mask. Make it black again. Just get rid of that for a second. Combine these two. Go to Gaussian Blur. In Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. About, I'm a, about nine, I would say. So then you have this. Let me, let me just make this white for a second. Then you have this blurred. Okay, and this is the version where it looked like she had dirty skin, but we're going to use that. You know what? I'm going to blur that one more. Just going to give that some more blur. Just We just want this for the shading. Basically, and a little bit of the highlights on her face and right here 
ulnar shoulder and bicep. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that black again so we can't see it. And then we're going to paint this in just pretty much the same way, only this time we're only doing skin. Okay, then you're going to paint back in this area on the skin. And it's going to look really bad. It's going to look like a, a bad retouch job. But bear with me here. So you gotta cut out that little boo-boo on her arm there. Okay, I'm even gonna get the fingers here. And make sure I get that because, uh, okay. And I do not want the eyes at all affected by this because that would just be bad. And then you go to layer mode, soft light, and you can see she just turned orange. So take that down a little bit. And just do a quick and dirty desaturation. See how see how that works. Seventy minus seventy-two. So now we have contouring pretty much done for us. We didn't have to paint that in. And I'm going to go ahead and combine that. Here is the before. Pretty much a, a just regular image. And here it is with a little bit more contrast, a lot more detail. And you zoom out of that see the difference there. So this is like a hybrid HDR where things are like ultra realistic without ruining certain things. And speaking of ruining certain things, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and remove this. She told me she had burned herself on a pan <laughs> right before. So there it is. Um, my hybrid HDR, aka selective HDR, and you can do this with sharpening, color. A lot of people do selective color this way. I'm not a huge fan of selective color, but this is a good way to do it. So before, after. Just ultra realistic. We just cranked the awesome from uh, about 8 to 15. And it only goes up to 10. So that's a pretty good job. Let me know what you think and uh, go ahead and try this out if you haven't already. There's many different ways to do this, like oodles of ways of doing this. One of the simpler ones being copying and copying the layer and just erasing what you don't want. This just allows more control and this is how I do it. So I hope that helps you uh, achieve a more, like I, I would say this is a more realistic HDR where uh, basically you're just enhancing the detail and the micro contrast without making the picture look ridiculous. Keep creating and keep it awesome.